Welcome to EF Pod English, brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. Pod English Elementary Twenty Nine Job Candidates. So, Ellie, tell me, what did you think of this candidate? I thought she was great. I really did. I think she's so. She's perfect, Jacob. She's ev- yeah. Look at all the candidates we've seen so far. They were so dull. Sure, all of that's nice, yeah, but that's she doesn't nice. have the skills that we're looking for. But which skills specifically? But Ellie, come on. If you match the position with her skills, what yeah. does she have? She's got great communication skills. No, she She's- does not. She does. In this lesson, we're going to find some different ways of describing people. We're going to talk about their personalities and their skills. My friend Anna is so funny. Peter is very hardworking. Before we watch the movie, look at this word: candidate. This is a person you interview for a job. Let's watch the movie. Kirsten and Nick work together. Which candidate do Kirsten and Nick like most? Well, what did you think of the first candidate? Well, I thought his resume was good, but I don't really think he has all the skills that we're looking for. Yes, he seemed very charming, don't you think? Hmm, exactly. I think he has more charm than real leadership skills. I see. Well, what about the second candidate? Oh, better. I thought、um, she answered the questions we gave her creatively and confidently. She did, didn't she? She's very serious and seems to be a hardworking person. Yes, but that might mean that she doesn't have the communication skills that we're looking for.、Mm, but we don't know for sure, so we shouldn't consider that too much. Yes, I think you're right.、Um, what about the third candidate? I can't separate him from the second one. Yes, he was good, and I think you're right. It's a hard choice. Perhaps we should wait for the results of the handwriting test before we decide. Yes, that's a good idea. We'll wait. Kirsten and Nick like the second and third candidates most. What does Nick think about the first candidate? I thought his resume was good, but I don't really think he has all the skills that we're looking for. I don't really think he has all the skills we are looking for. When we are talking about jobs, we often use this word to describe what people can do well: skills. Let's look at some more examples. Communication skills. To have communication skills, you can speak and write well. The second candidate doesn't have good communication skills. Leadership skills. Sally is a good manager. She has leadership skills. Let's watch two examples from the movie. What words does Kirsten use to describe the candidates' personalities? They seem very charming, don't you think? Hmm, exactly. She's very serious and seems to be a hardworking person. Charming, serious, hardworking. We use all these words to describe people. Tell me, what did you think of this candidate? I thought she was fantastic. Yeah. Like, yeah, she's passionate. She's enthusiastic. She's charming.、Uh, she's serious. She comes across as friendly and hardworking. He seems very charming. This means he is very good at talking to people. She's very serious and hardworking. Use the words you learnt in the lesson to fill in the gaps. That's right. The word is skills. James has many skills. He can write well. He also has very good computer skills. Can you remember which adjective goes here? Hardworking. Susan works very hard. She is very hardworking. Let's do one more. Rupert doesn't laugh much. He's very. Can you think of an adjective to describe Rupert? 
That's right. Rupert doesn't laugh much. He's very serious. Well done. In today's lesson, we've discussed how to describe people's personalities. He seems very charming. She's very serious and hardworking. We've also talked about people's skills, such as communication skills, leadership skills. Well, that's all we've got time for today. We don't have the time to train someone up. We need the right skills base today. Yeah. So maybe we just need to say thanks, but no thanks. It's a tough call. It's a very nice person would fit yeah. in the environment, but I agree that's the right decision. Okay. I'll call it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. thanks. Okay.